Fast, accurate, with Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5. Reports of a suspicious man picking up dogs has a local animal shelter concern. And the Stark County Humane Society says he's going door to door claiming to be from their organization. WSBT 22's Zach Crenshaw just got back from North Judson. And Zach, this is not the first time the Humane Society has heard about this kind of suspicious activity. No, this has been going on for months, Jennifer. The Society's director tells me that just yesterday a new report came in of this man trying to once again pick up dogs. And they're hoping increased awareness will put an end to it. Inside the Stark County Humane Society, dogs are brought in regularly. We do not go out in the community picking up unwanted, you know, or stray animals. Animal shelter, this is Shanna. How can I help you? Shanna Lloyd is the society's director and says yesterday someone came to her with a problem, not an animal. They claimed they had been approached by an individual that stated they were working for our shelter and that they had the authority to pick up unwanted animals. Lloyd suspects the person is up to no good. I would think maybe that they're up to dog flipping. Dog flipping is when someone either steals a dog or looks on lost and found websites and Facebook groups and then goes and claims the dogs. Then they turn around and they advertise these animals on Craigslist to sell them to turn a profit. Unfortunately, it's not new to Stark County. We have heard of this going on for several, several months. So obviously, it's a problem. It could turn into a huge problem. A huge problem the Humane Society is asking for your help to solve. If you've been approached by any individual in the area claiming to have authority to pick up animals on our behalf, please call the shelter let us know right away. And Lloyd is hoping information can lead to justice. It really makes me sick to my stomach. You know, I mean, obviously these people don't have good intentions for these animals. They're simply only interested in making money. Now, as of now, Lloyd says she has not filed a police report and is hoping the public reaches out to her with more incidents if there are some. Lloyd says there are a few things you can do to avoid helping a dog flipper. First, if anyone comes to your door asking to take an animal, always ask for identification. And if they claim to be the owner, ask questions about the animal. Along those lines, if you post in a lost and found Facebook group on uh, lost and found animal group on Facebook don't give too much information that could help a thief so post maybe a partial picture leave out the gender breed and tags because whoever wants to claim the dog should be able to answer all of those questions on their own at the live desk Zach Crenshaw WSBT 22 news Zach